please. Okay, no one has to know. I mean, you could just pretend you didn't find us. I, we would never tell anyone, would we, Craig? No, absolutely no. not. Mm -hmm. I already called your lawyer. Besides, this little family outing of yours has put an innocent man in jail. The cops are investigating this as a kidnapping. They already rounded up some poor suspect. A, a working class guy, father, I think. But anyway, you two, you almost ruined someone's life, potentially several someone's. I, we had no idea. Could this have been the person in the van? What if the man they arrested is the one we were warned about? Yeah, maybe he's not so innocent, hmm? But warned? Warned how? Well, we had a phone call, someone disguising their voice. And they said someone was coming for us. And there was a van outside yep. the house, as if whoever was inside was watching us. Mm -hmm. And once that drove off, we did what we did for the kids. The kids. I, I, I wouldn't know about any of that. I just, <clears throat> I can assure you that you and your family are safe. I mean, the police are all over this thing, so. It, it doesn't matter. I, we can't just go back. Our case, they'll crucify Craig. Can't you just call Miss Wexler again? Yeah, tell her you didn't see us after all. If they think I ran away, it'll look like I did something yeah, wrong. And we can't risk losing everything just because of some teensy mistake. <laughs> Can I ask you something? What What were you hoping would happen? I mean, before I found you, what were you planning to do? <sighs> well, we were in the process of, you know, working that out. We were working that you, out. Um... Yep. All right, well, I, you still got a little bit of maneuverability, all right? You, you're outdoorsy, right? So you went on an impromptu camping trip. I don't know, something people do, apparently. Uh, you left the house a mess, and you kicked in your own front door because it's a free country. Kim Wexler is very good. She'll make it work. Yeah, wait, what about the money? Oh, if she knows about it, she'll tell, right? I mean, she'll have to tell. Well, like they say in Silicon Valley, it's not a bug, it's a feature. You ever hear of a bargaining chip? What we have right here is the mother of all bargaining chips. Um, as in, do you expect us to give this back? We are not giving this back. We are not guilty. This money belongs to us. We are, well, I mean, Craig earned it. I worked very hard, yeah. you know, weekends, yep. holidays, all, all unpaid. unpaid. Always. And, and really, just because your salary doesn't mean you don't deserve overtime. I, I think that's only fair. I mean, really, that's what this is about, yeah. right? Fairness. Fairness, right. I mean, not just what's legal. You want to talk about legal slavery. I mean, that used to be legal. Human slavery. So. Yeah, this is right up there with that. Please, just don't tell anyone about the money. I can't take a bribe. Who would know? We won't tell anyone. Can't take it. I can't take it, please. Didn't you say that you wanted to help us? Just pretend you never saw the money. How hard is that? Take it. Take it. I can't, I can't take a bribe. But <clears throat> you know what? I can't, I can't take a retainer. A retainer? Yeah, for my services. As your lawyer? You're not our lawyer. Well, not yet. Look, I, I know that HHM is shiny and it's slick and it's chock full of lawyers. And compared to them, I'm like a, a kitty lemonade stand trying to compete with Walmart. But here's the thing. What are you going to get from me that you're not going to get from those other guys? Passion. Commitment. Ask yourself this, who found you? I don't see Howard Hamlin ruining his $300 Gucci loafers out here. If you're with me, you're my number one client, morning, noon, or night. You call me, I'm there. I would be singularly devoted to you. But why not? I'm sorry, you're just... Just, I'm what? You're the kind of lawyer guilty people hire. <laughs>